The Greater Green Project in the Castlegate Quarter of Sheffield is a scheme to introduce more green space into the city, whilst also improving water management and biodiversity. It was designed by Nigel Dunnett and Zach Tudor, alongside Sheffield City Council and Robert Bray Associates. A rich industrial history lays the foundations for the Sheffield we know today. During the Industrial Revolution, steel production was at its peak, coining the name the Steel City, and many of the waterways that the city was built upon had to be diverted underground to accommodate this. River Don, one of Sheffield's infamous rivers, best known for plunging the area into water in 1864 and 2007, flows past Greater Green. Castlegate within itself also has a robust history, with the area once being the location of Sheffield Castle prior to its demolition in 1648. In the centuries that followed, markets, trade, breweries, industry and entertainment flourished. These trades were once the main attraction of the space and the streets that were home to them were the backbone of the city, a concept brought to light by Christopher Alexander in a pattern language. The 2007 flood left Castlegate heavily polluted after the city's sewage system struggled to withstand the volume of rainfall. Consequently, the area was often neglected until the introduction of the Greater Green Project. The Greater Green Project regenerates the relationship that the city once had with the river through the use of planting beds to create a sustainable water drainage system and reducing pollution by collecting road runoff and debris. Sustainable urban drainage techniques are used within the planters which hold water back and treat it in the soil before releasing it into the river via a swale. In turn, the planters reduce carbon emissions and air pollution due to the previous dual carriageway. Biodiversity is also encouraged with both the planters and the insect and totem pole bird boxes Greater Green makes amends with the once polluted landscape, a theory discussed within Reconciliation Ecology by Michael Rosenzweig. Great benefits have come from the new development of the Greater Green. More people take pride in cycling and walking along the newly built paths, encouraging the Sheffield community to stay fit, healthy and well connected. The design strategy behind planting specific vegetation has also uplifted the surroundings as these plants have provided fresher air and more biodiversity to the area whilst also preventing pollutants from entering the watercourses. The soil filters through the waste material allowing water to slowly and cleanly enter the nearby rivers. It also temporarily withholds excess water caused by heavy rain to prevent mass flooding. Jacobs believes that great streets can only be made with participation and representation of the community. Therefore, the Pollen Market in Castlegate, a local independent store market held once a month, is a great example of how the area benefits from the redevelopment. It acknowledges the area's history in an environmentally friendly setting that is enhanced by the River Don. Not only did this project tackle the main issue of reducing surface water runoff reaching the river, it also provided a space for the community to interact, whilst breathing in fresher, safer and cleaner air. We spoke to Gabrielle and David from Future Greens, a new business that sustainably grows a variety of greens and herbs here in South Yorkshire, about how the pollen market has benefited their small business. Okay, what has the market been like throughout the day? It's been great. We've had a lot of interest. It's our second market ever, so it's uh, very exciting, but uh, a lot of interest, a lot of nice conversations with people. Yeah, we actually sold out of all of our greens, um, yeah. so yeah, it's been quite good. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about the Castlegate area? I really enjoy that there's these green patches here of wild-like looking greens. I, I, well, the greens, sorry. I'm fucked speaking greens because I sell them. I mean like plants, so... Um, yeah, I just really enjoy having a walk here. And in general, this market's been a really nice way to gather and, uh, the community. the river. The river is great as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that there's a sense of community within the market? Uh, Does it bring people together? Yeah, yeah. It's like, we've like, made so many friends. Just today was our first pollen market. We made lots of friends from the nearby market stalls. 
Um, so yeah, I really feel the nice connection. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of friendly faces. Yeah.